Hello, my name is Sean Pardster from EP Training Services. Uh, this is an update on the last video update that I did. Um, I posted a video at the weekend about HGV training tests part two. Um, I've since taken that video down because some of the information in it uh, I've since discovered was incorrect and I should not be supplying that kind of information to you. So I'm gonna have a quick chat in a minute about the new C and E changes coming in from the fifteenth of November, uh, I just want to refer to a video that I did before, which has now been taken down, which related to uh, later in next year the transfer of category D, D for Delta bus license holders uh, being automatically given uh, category C HGV and vice versa. So I did say that later next year, the government are giving you the opportunity to, uh, should you have a full category D license, uh, apply to DVLA, DVSA, to get it exchanged uh, or added uh, for the category C license. And I also said that if you've got a category C license, at some point you'll be able to pay, uh, apply for your category D license without doing a driving test. That is incorrect. And I'm sorry if I um, misinformed everybody. That was not my intention. So just to confirm if we can before we move on, there is no um, automatic transfer over from category D license holders to category C and the other way around as well, category C to D. Um, I think where you'll find the changes is if you apply for a provisional category D license through DVLA, they will automatically give you a category C provisional entitlement as well. So I'm sorry for any confusion. I need to put that one right before uh, um, before people do get the uh, wrong information. Um, now I'm going to talk about the uh, new driving tests um, for the HGV. Um, so the video that I did initially about the driving test changes, that, that's still online. And that was telling everybody about the facility, the opportunity to go straight to your uh, C plus C class one. On that video, I didn't have a date. I didn't know when it was coming in. So the big date now, the D-Day, Freedom Day, if you like, is gonna be the 15th of November, uh, 2021. And what that means after that date, you have the opportunity to go straight to your C plus E driving license uh, test without having done uh, the category C first. So in 1997, all the rules changed. It was all stage testing. If you wanted to get your class one HGV, category C and E, the articulated, you would have had to do the category C um, rigid class two driving test first. Um, and then afterwards go and do your your class one. So they're doing away with that from the 15th of November. And the deal will be subject to you having provisional C and E in place, passing your theory test, doing the driver CPC where relevant. Uh, you can go straight on uh, from car to class one. You can do the driving test for the class one without having done class two. So you can leapfrog class two and go straight um, to class one. Uh, that's going to happen from the 15th of November. And the driving test itself for HGV is going to be changing. So as far as the driving test goes, technically we actually call that module three. That's your... Uh, driving test where you would do the reverse and coupling, uncoupling, go out on the road for about uh, 50, 60 minutes. Um, that's changing. That's going to be split into two. There's going to be two parts of the test. What we call module 3A and module 3B. So module 3A will be the uh, reversing uh, where necessary the coupling, uncoupling procedure and 3B will be the driving test proper. They're going to be split into two. So after the 15th of November, it would be possible to do module 3a um, and you have to have passed module 3a driving test uh, the reverse and the coupling uncoupling you need to have passed that before you can then go on and do the 3b uh, proper driving test so the government idea is um, from 15th of november 
training companies are going to be given the opportunity to test their um, own people for the reversing coupling uncoupling part the 3a you can still do that down at the driving test center um, but you have to have passed module 3a to go on and do the driving part the module 3b as far as uh, passing that 3a um, if you do pass you get a certificate for six months and that will allow you to uh, then go on and do your 3b uh, the driving test within six months and pass that so the 3a uh, must be passed first it's valid for six months if you don't pass 3a you can't do 3b you have to do the 3a before you do the 3b and pass that so once you've done the 3a uh, then you could do the section 3b and that is going to be done by um, a government appointed driving examiner so for example um, for us we use guildford guildford driving test center they will still be running driving tests from there and that will be the 3b um, so your uh, instructor and vehicle will uh, make you available for your test uh, in good time you will turn up with your certificate for your um, 3a and then the examiner will take you out and uh, assess you for the 3b 3b driving test that's not really gonna change too much except the uh, c and e test before these changes, 15th of November, the C&E test um, was uh, about 50 minutes driving forward. This one is gonna be extended to 60 minutes driving forward. Okay, so you will be driving that vehicle out on the public highway, varying road and traffic conditions uh, for approximately uh, 60 minutes. Um, just one point to note, if you only have uh, provisional C at the moment and you want to go straight on and do the C and E after the 15th of November you are going to have to apply to get that C and E provisional um, put in place that's going to be, have to be some sort of application to DVLA unfortunately DVLA cannot press a button and just change your status online uh, provisional entitlement to include C and, o, C and E as well the legislation requires you to apply for that so I hope that brings you up to date. 15th of November is the big change. Uh, you'll also find that I think uh, car and trailer, um, there will be no, um, rather that entitlement will be given to you after the 15th of November. Uh, and the rules now from the 20th of September says you, you can't do a car and trailer test anyway. So that's gonna be given to you. So in summary, please excuse me, I did get it wrong about the bus to the lorry and vice versa, you, you won't get that entitlement. Um, the driving test itself is going to change 3A and 3B you know a little bit about that now and car and trailer uh, entitlement you should be getting that after the uh, 15th of November, November if you don't have it already thank you